It's Tyler from Bright Agritech, and in this video, I want to show you everything that you need to know to mount an eight tower farm wall to a wall. The first thing I want to talk about is this wall channel, about its orientation and how it should be placed on the wall, how to space these appropriately for the header and the gutter, and then my procedure for aligning all these and making sure everything's square. This is our wall channel and you're gonna have four of these for an eight tower farm wall. Two for the header and two for the gutter. It adds a really unique shape to it, but when it's properly fastened to the wall, the holes should be flush against the wall, this opening or mouth should be open to the room, and then the lip should be faced up. Now this channel has three holes in it that are spaced at eight inches apart. So there's 16 inches from this hole to this hole, and when you're mounting this, you need to make sure that they're mounted into studs or brick or something that can hold a lot of weight. Now, it's really important when you start mounting these to keep them level and not just level within themselves but level to each other and spaced appropriately to make sure that your farm wall sits square on the wall. And I'm going to go into that now. So we'll be mounting four wall channels for an eight tower farm wall. One for each clip. Now the vertical spacing between these channels is completely dependent on the size of your towers. If you have three foot towers, you're gonna have 37 and a half inches between the top lip of your upper channel and the top lip of your bottom channel. If you have a five foot tower, you're gonna have 62 inches. We have five foot towers here, so it's 62 inches from here to here. You have some wiggle room with the horizontal spacing. Now when you do this, you wanna make sure that these channels are completely level to each other because you wanna make that farm look square on the wall and not have it sagging but the clips in the back of our channels have 44 inches between them. So the maximum that you can set these channels apart from each other, this interior distance, is 44 inches. And when it's at 44 inches, each of those clips sit right on the inside, but the entire clip will sit on that channel. The closest you can bring those channels together is 11 inches. And then the clips on the back of the gutter and the header will sit right on the outside of these channels. But it's important that we want that entire clip to sit on the wall channel. So what I like to do when I mount my wall channels, I like to mount my top ones first. And these are 78, 78 inches off the ground. That allows me to stand on the ground and be able to reach the button drippers on the top of the farm wall. And I like that height. That's the only reason that they're at that height. What I do is I mount one channel and what I like to do is put one screw in, don't tighten it down all the way, and then I level that channel out. And I usually have a friend help me to hold that channel level while I put the second screw in and then I secure them to the wall. After that, I like to mount my second upper channel and again, I need to follow that spacing so that way the clips sit directly onto those channels and I follow that same procedure and I need those channels exactly the same height off the ground and I need both channels level to make my farm wall look level. These upper channels have 28 inches between them and what that does is it put the gutter or the header clips directly in the center. So that's kind of your happy medium as far as horizontal spacing for your channels. Once you have those upper channels mounted, you need to mount the lower ones. And that's gonna be, the distance between those is gonna be dependent on your tower size, and I've already explained that. But this is a five foot tower farm wall, so there's 62 inches from that slip to that lip. And again, I use the same procedure. One screw in, level that channel out, and then the second screw goes in. I keep my bottom channels squared up with my upper channels. You don't have to as long as that gutter clip rests completely on the wall channel. Once you have those four wall channels in place, you can place your rubber bumpers. With an eight tower farm wall, you're gonna have two rubber bumpers. You can see them here. And what I've done is I've secured those into studs using screws that we don't include. And what the reason that we use that, these rubber bumpers, is because the gutter carries about 95% of the weight of the entire farm wall. The water, the towers, the crops, it's all sits on that bottom gutter and that bottom gutter can start to sag over time. What these rubber bumpers do is they give that gutter backing and it keeps the gutter nice and square and keeps that farm wall looking good over time. So that's it, that wraps up everything you need to know to mount an eight tower farm wall. If there's anything that you need more clarification or more detail on, just let us know. I encourage you to watch our other videos on our farm wall. This is just one video in a series of videos. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe or follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.